Well, I have the wonderful privilege of speaking now with two powerful individuals that are representing the body of Christ oh so well. They have a powerful outreach ministry that is effective and doing great things. I'm so proud to introduce and welcome to the Land of Life set, Gerald and Paula Cloud. God How bless you. How you doing? How you bless doing? You. Thank you so much for bless coming. Bless you. Bless you. Listen, I, I want to talk about that because I think one of the things that we must understand is people don't care about how much you know until they know how much you care. I want to first ask you personally, how important and what does outreach mean to you? Outreach to me um, is the, it's the driving force of what Christ came here to try to, to get us to, in his three and a half of ministry, outreach reaching out to the people, reaching out to the lost, mm -hmm. um, not in always in the, within the church walls. Going out, he says, the foxes have holes in the, and the uh, birds of air has ne have nests, but the son of man has nowhere to lay his head. He was always on the move. He didn't, he didn't have a particular place to reside, but he went places and he missed the people uh, out in the streets mm -hmm. uh, and compelled them to come and hear the good news. And the streets is, is where, it's, where we, we're losing so many people right now. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the churches, um, they are our, they're our hospitals. They'll take care of our saints. The people that have come and, and confessed Christ and they're coming to the church and, and, and they've been taken care of with, with our bishops and pastors. But there's a, another set of people that are out there that have not come to that knowledge yet. Mm -hmm. And that's where we come in. We try to look at ourselves as kind of like the ambulance to the hospital. We okay. have to go out and pick them up and try to get them in some kind of way. You know, it's very interesting that you use that analogy because oftentimes uh, if you have a good uh, ambulance driver and and those individuals who man that, you know, good EMS, they'll take care of you before you even have to get to the hospital. Exactly. And so we can't negate outreach. Now, you have a powerful, uh, you know, individual sitting right next to you. And this, you know, they, I, I, they talk about better <laughs> hair, but she, she's, she's really the whole thing. Really. She's, uh, this is my wife, Paula. Um, Together we founded Fragments Ministry uh, a little over three years, almost four years ago with the, some other people that we got together and um, and we wanted to do some kind of outreach. Uh, I, my outreach, my love for outreach come because, and the name of our ministry is called Fragments. Fragments. And, and if you read in John, the sixth chapter and the 12th verse, it says, gather the fragments that remain so that mm. nothing be lost. That's good. So that's, that's, good. that's what, I was a fragment. I was on drugs. I uh -huh. did time in prison. Uh, I'm, I'm from those very streets that I go back out to reach to. Uh, I know how I've been there. Uh, my wife uh, is from New Orleans. I met her in New Orleans. Uh, yep, New Orleans, uh, and she hasn't had the the uh, the street experience that I have. But together, God knew how to put the hook it up because she has the. Uh, um, she has a master's degree in social work. I'm going to let her tell you about what, what she does. Okay. And, and together, that's what makes up Fragments Ministry. So, so, so what God always does, he's a, he's a master. And, and I, I'm a firm believer of this. When you allow God to put it together, right. then it will yield the kind of fruit that should remain. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just out the box and sometimes I just, I just let it go. You know, right. Oftentimes we choose stuff for ourselves. And we had to pay the consequence. But what I'm glad tonight that I see is the glow of God coming from you all, knowing that God put you all together and you can complement each other in ministry. Paul, I want I want to ask you this because mm -hmm. everybody you can't work with, even <laughs> uh, you, you see what I'm going. Even when they're your spouse. So tell us how is it working with your husband, and what does outreach in in your part of the whole piece of the puzzle mean to you? Okay. First of all, I want to start out by saying um, I woke up in the middle of the night. My husband was writing down a whole bunch of stuff on paper. And I was like, what are you doing? He said, well, God gave me a vision. Mm. And he began to put it together. And he said, he told me to go out and feed my sheep. So I looked in the refrigerator, and we had a couple items in there. I was like, oh, this is hilarious. We don't have much food ourselves in the refrigerator. Mm. I said, but that's temperament of God to get you to do what you think you can do. Right. So um, that's how fragment beginning, you know. So outreach is, is a compassion of mine because you never know when you may need the very help that you're trying to provide. Um, the faces of homelessness is changing. Mm. It's not your ordinary person that you think are downtown big and asking for quarters. 
it's families now. Jesus. It's families with children. It's homeowners. My parents were um, victims of Katrina. Mm. Mother had a house all her life, one day homeless. Wow. Not because of negligence or despair, because of devastation. So the faces are changing. And so we have to reach out to you know, those people that, that need our help. Let's talk about that, because I think in, in some areas, um, it may even be swept under the rug in, in some counties and in, in certain different states. How, how serious of a problem is homelessness, especially for those of us who name the name of Christ? There are people going through homelessness that love the Lord. Absolutely. I was doing some research for a grant that I'm writing in, um, in Fulton County. The state of Georgia has a 14.7% homeless rate, mm. but Fulton County alone was 14.9, which represent almost most of the area concentrated in one area of Georgia's whole homeless nation um, state. And it's, it's devastating because it's like I said, it's not your typical person that you think is mentally retarded or substance abusers or drug addicts. It's families that's foreclosing on their home God. and faced with it. In one week, I don't know where I'm gonna go. Mm. So, Gerald, just rubber hit the road. How do we combat that issue? Um, seeing that God has given you all fragments ministries, how do you really try to make a dent into that of homelessness? I mean, um, that's serious. Do what we can do. Focus in on what God given us to do. Main thing is to, is to listen. Uh, move when God says move. Do the things. Uh, we go to what we do, how we started our ministry, we do what we call raids. Hmm. And what a raid is, is when a Fragments Ministries team comes into an area where there's, where there's uh, uh, prostitution or drugs or homelessness, where there's a lot of uh, 